Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Diane and this is Out and About with Diane. And I've been living on the road for about two months, going on my third month. And a lot of you have commented on my Instagram and commented on my videos with several really good questions. So I asked you guys over on Instagram if you had any questions. I asked you in the community tab here on YouTube if you had any questions. And you guys actually came up with some good ones. So in today's video, I'm going to answer some of the questions that you guys had about me living on the road. So let's get started. from one of my Patreon members, Benjamin, and it goes along with a couple other questions that I've had of being lonely. He asked if being alone is an issue or if I'm able to interact with people enough to where it isn't. Well, Benjamin, that is a great question. I am actually the type of person that prefers to be alone more than I prefer to be with a group of people or with anybody in general. I need my alone time. I'm not able to think and concentrate and do things for myself when I'm constantly around other people. I'm the type of person that loves to take care of everybody else. So the alone time that I get is very beneficial to me. I only got one person to take care of when I'm alone. So being alone on the road has not really been an issue. However, I have actually forced myself to go and meet people and hang out with them. And on the road, I have met some incredible people and made some really good connections. And this started before I even became a full-time nomad. I had already been traveling most of the year, probably two or three weeks out of every month for the last year at least. And I've always made it a point to stop by the local bar in small towns or at least figure out a way to meet up with somebody that I've known off of social media and then go and make that connection that way. I think it's important to keep connections with people. All right, this comes from another Patreon supporter, Antoinette. Antoinette asked if the if this was just a cumulative, dis, cumulative decision or if I just woke up one morning and decided to pack my stuff and leave. Well, it actually happened throughout time. I have been traveling and making YouTube videos for about three years, and before that I was I was traveling and camping and getting out and trying to get out as much as possible because Vegas is a big city and I need fresh air and I need big wide open space. So over time I was going out more and more and especially with YouTube videos I was going out even more trying to make content and then I just realized how much I loved being on the road. Well, I was promised a job in 2021, or 2020 and 2021, obviously that didn't happen. So I really wanted to hustle on the YouTube front. And so I realized the more and more I went out, I was not wanting to come home. I didn't want to come home anymore. And right before I would hit the city, I would just get this big rush of anxiety about how I didn't want to live in Las Vegas anymore. I was still happy in my relationship, but it wasn't fair to anybody for me to stay in Las Vegas. So over the course of a few months, I picked up other streams of income. And once I realized I could make money solely off of doing online and remote work, then kind of made up my mind. And the next step was to make a change in the relationship I was in. and figure out what I was going to do with all my stuff and how I was actually going to do it. But luckily I had been watching a lot of nomads for a long time. Nomadic Fanatic, 
and some other people and Bob Wells and all that and I feel like if you just if you're working towards something and you keep telling yourself wow this would be an interesting life to live and you just keep doing it over and over and over again you have to still work for it but I feel like eventually it will come to you and I never actually thought I would be a full-time nomad but the circumstances in my life had changed and I figured I don't have kids and I'm not married so why not try it now and I'm really glad that I did. What is the worst part about being a nomad that I didn't expect? I would have to say being organized. I'm a pretty organized person, especially when it comes to work and editing videos is something that for me, I need to be organized to do and you've noticed I haven't really been very consistent with my upload schedule. I'm really trying, but staying organized has been the toughest thing. Working out of my vehicle is really difficult, so I do try to get a hotel room here and there and try to work from a desk. It kind of puts my mind at ease and trying to look for all my stuff and I do have a place for things, but it's just, it's become more difficult over time. So that has to be the most difficult thing about being a nomad is having a place for all your stuff and remembering where you put it. So how am I able to afford living on the road? I do have an income from YouTube and it's not very much. It's actually, it's for, right now it does support me a little bit, but it's kind of like a really expensive hobby. I'm very fortunate enough that I have people who support me and I'm so thankful for them. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do this. I also picked up another revenue stream, starts with an O and an F and I started doing that because I really um, became more confident in myself and that really helped too so that's actually my main stream of income now and it's been able to really sustain me living on the road I think I'll be able to buy a piece of property and even a new vehicle this year with that so I'll put a link to that down below and you can check it out if you want. It's an adult entertainment website, I guess. But I don't really want to talk about it too much here. I kind of want to keep things separate. I've mentioned it a few times, but for the most part, I'd like to keep my YouTube channel family friendly because I want everybody to be able to go out and adventure. But I've been able to start saving. I didn't save before I left. I basically just left. <laughs> And if I had to save before I left, then, you know, it would have just taken a lot longer. And I think I was just ready to hit the road. So, yeah. How do I manage my files and how do I upload videos while I'm on the road and deal with storage and all that? I do have an external <clears throat> hard drive that I bought from Costco. It's five terabytes. I think it was like 80 bucks at the time. Costco is the best place to buy these external hard drives and a lot of electronics. A lot of times I do edit and upload my videos on my phone, which I cannot stand because you can only upload in 1080p and I'm a 4K person. So that kind of sucks, but just I'd rather just get the video out. When I'm in a hotel, I try to wait to get a hotel room until I have at least like three videos to put in the can and then I'll put I'll use the hotel room and edit on my laptop. But I'm working on power right now. I have an idea for some solar. And when it comes to internet, I've got a tablet and uh, my phone. Each have 40 gigabytes of hotspot, but I mostly use the data from the phone to upload the video to YouTube because when I was using the hotspot to my laptop, it ate up everything. And once your hotspot slows down, it slows down your data too for some reason. So that is the answer to that. And then when I'm finished, I usually just delete all my files. I try not to, or I put them on my hard drive. All right, I'm gonna keep this video short. And if you guys have any other questions, we'll do this again probably in a month or so and see what other questions you guys have. I think things are gonna change over time, obviously. This is a new experience for me, and it might be new for you guys to watch somebody in this sort of lifestyle, so. 
I want to thank you guys for participating and asking all your all of your questions and if your question didn't get answered here I might actually upload another video over on Instagram with the questions that didn't get answered I didn't want to keep this too long but um, I appreciate every one of you for subscribing and watching and listening and I appreciate my patreon members and those who donate through PayPal if you want to check out how to support the channel even further you can check out some of the links in the description below and I will see you guys in the next video. I've got to go get my car fixed. Bye!